Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So, today I'm gonna be cutting my own fringe. Is this a really bad idea? Probably. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. Look, we're in lockdown. Don't blame me. I'm running out of options here. I have no options. The only option, if I want a fringe, is to cut it myself. Have I ever done this before? I've not even researched how to do this yet. I simply cannot wait for the hairdressers to open. I can't do it. I also need to dye my roots. So I'm gonna go and get some hair scissors and then I'm gonna dye my hair and then I'm, I'm just gonna try and cut it. This could go terribly wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Yep, so I'm gonna, yep. Ah! Gonna dye my hair and cut it. And that's about it. I don't know whether to bring you with me or not. I don't know whether to bring you with me or not when I'm when I when I go and buy it. Bit boring. Bit bit of a montage moment, perhaps. I'm probably not with it. I might just get another coffee whilst I'm out as well. I've not even finished my first one. Oh yeah. I really can't tell if Starbucks coffee actually tastes like shit. But I've literally been drinking it for five years now, so I feel like it's just out of habit. I feel like I'm just evolving with my um my coffee my my coffee journey. And oh, God, my humor is just dead today. Uh -huh. oh. oh, oh! I'm probably gonna shit myself one sec. Right, I've had my shit. Spray myself with perfume so that I don't go out smelling of shit. <laughs> it's 20 past five. I have no concept of time. I probably won't be cutting my hair until like half seven. Anyway, montage time. <laughs> right, so I know I said, oh, what is fine, it stinks. I know I just said that I was gonna lose track of time and end up starting cutting my hair at half seven and it's now 11 p.m. I'm really stuck on what to do because I've been putting this off. I've been putting this off for the entire fucking day and I need to get it done. I don't want to drag the pressure through to tomorrow. I just want to get it over and done with and then I can wake up a nice new fringeful woman tomorrow. So I'm gonna do it. It's fucking 11. I thought if I started at half seven, that I'd be late. And look at me now. Why is my toe bleeding? Right, I need to start off by dyeing my hair. Let's go. I don't really know where to put this line. That's gonna have to do. Let's go, bitch, let's go. Is that okay? I'm being blinded right now. I've seen too many fringe DIY cutting gone wrong videos to feel comfortable right now. Okay, fuck it. So first we need to dye my hair. So I need to do my roots. Oh, bit of dandruff. Or a knit egg. Hmm, you choose. Look, my tan's come off my armpits as well. Oh, hello, bicep. <laughs> she asked me if I... <coughs> All right, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Okay, let's just hope that I don't get it on the floor. This is the boring part. Like, no one gives a fuck about this bit. Applying color first to, to your roots and then immediately through the length of your hair. Okay. I don't know why I'm reading the instructions as if I haven't done this like 20 times before. <gasps> Oh, fuck's sake, I just got fucking black hair dye all over my hands. Oh, piss off. Okay. I'm really not gonna do a good job at this, but I'm, I'm really stuck for options here. It doesn't really matter. I just don't want my roots to be dead, dead noticeable. Let's just go for it. Oh, I probably can't be asked to do this right now. I've started it and I really don't have the energy. I can't even fucking see properly. I don't have a method for this. I don't care. Don't even let me know how badly I'm doing it. Oh, fuck it. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm proper stuck. Let's just whack it all in the front. Let's just get it all in there. Whoa, my head. Oh, shit. This is so boring. Like, I'm literally not talking, but... Oh, what the fuck? Let's just whack it in there. And put more effort in. If I cared, but I simply just don't. Oh, I can't wait to be back in LA again. I really can't wait to go back and be making music and also just chilling. Like, I just want to chill when I'm there. I just want to, oh, I just want to, oh. I don't remember the last time I traveled. Where the fuck was that? Where was the last place I went to? Was it LA? No, Rome. I really want to go back to Rome because I was in a bad mood from the second that that plane landed, right until the plane landed back in Manchester. And I literally do not know why. Actually, no, I do understand why now, because whilst I was there, I suspected that I had a bladder infection coming on, right? Then I came on my period when we got on the plane to come back to Manchester, and then two days later, I was hospitalized because of the suspected bladder infection. So everything inside my body was absolutely failing, which might explain the bad mood. 
Oh, I have neighbours and it's midnight. Mm, I really forget. Okay, I'm getting agitated now. It's a roller coaster. James. Oh, shit. Oh, Chloe, that's what you get for being a dickhead. Ah, I've just got black hair down on my skirting board and I do not own this place. Oh, shit. Don't be shy. Come off. Oh, shit. <laughs> Quick. Well, that was there before I arrived. What a shame. That's just not coming off. Like... Oh, no, I just stood on the glove. Fuck me. This is not going well. <gasps> Look at my neck. Aww. Can someone give me a fucking break? Let's just put some on the rest of the hair just for the sake of it. Oh, let's fucking go. Ah! Ah! Oh, right on the vagina. Not like an elf queen. Ten minutes on the clock. Ten minutes on the cock. Okay, it's time! I'm gonna have a lovely relaxing shower. Oh yeah. All right, I've had my shower and then I've just walked in there, slipped and slammed my toe on the little metal thing on the floor. And I think I cut it a bit. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh my God, it's took a fucking chunk out of my big toe. Today is not my day. I don't even know how to cut a fridge. When I've seen my hairdresser do it, he does it in a really, really intricate way. There's different techniques he uses where he's like clipping it back in a zigzag. I don't have the skill and or patience for that right now. So I'm still gonna try and make sure that I do it well, but fuck me. Oh, that's satisfying. Look at that comb. I brought some food in that I had from earlier. Oh God, I really want this right now. Mm. Ah, Brad Mondo. Let's put this video on. Right, Brad, come on. Show me how to not fuck up my hair. Oh, I literally have no idea. Okay, did I take any of that in? Absolutely not. I don't even think it's gonna be that deep, to be honest, because I've already got a fringe, I just need to shorten it. So, let's see. Moment of truth, here we go. Oh, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, I'm taking the tiniest bit off. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, just literally nearly stab myself in the eye. Right, I think I'm just gonna dry my fringe and like straighten it so that I can do it like the way that it is styled because doing it wet is not, it is not working for me. This is not fun. It's nearly one in the morning. Okay, like this really is not that deep. This is probably a disappointment to a lot of people, but guess what? I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh there's just a little bit scratching my eyeballs. Mm. Wait, so this is where we're at now. Have I done anything? Okay, I want it to be under my eyebrows. Oh, hell yeah. Looking kind of good. Looking kind of... Doesn't look that good on there. Oh yeah, usually like I take the top layer and kind of spread it out over the top, but I've just fucking cut all of it, so never mind. I have hair in my eye. Oh, this is just a bit fucking boring, isn't it? I just, I wasn't gonna cut my own fringe for the first time and not film it, you know? I hope I never have to fucking do this again. Oh yeah, I probably fucked up that side. That's not good. Oh well. Okay, why does that look good? Like, why have I done such a good job of that? I know it's so simple, but come on. That should have gone way worse than that. I don't trust this. Something's gotta look bad soon. I was really expecting to just like slip and cut my whole fringe off. What the fuck? I'm really hoping I didn't just cut my fucking eyelash off. And I think I did. I've started going for more like a, f of a, um, what? This is really not that bad. Why do, I'm a psychopath. I'm a psychopath. I am sounding disappointed about the fact that it's, that it's not gone wrong because the content isn't interesting. Is that it? Is that the video that you've just watched? Oh, a bit awkward that, isn't it? Well, guess what? You're not getting that time back. You chose to stick around. Here we are. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. Look at me. Look at me go. Like I know it was literally just below my eyes, but why am I shouting? I've never gone close to cutting my fringe before. So the reason I did this video is because I thought that it was gonna go really, really bad. And I thought that I was gonna like fuck it up. And I just didn't. Oh shit. So I fucked up the easiest part of this entire process, but not the fringe cutting. Well, yeah. At least I know that it's not that hard. Proper have no energy. Uh, oh, fuck. Hey, so I just wanted to say it looks pretty shit here. It looks quite shit, I can't lie. But here's an example of what it looked like when I actually styled it properly. It actually did look kind of cool. I'm gonna cut it again soon, but where I leave like the top layer like to come down a bit more, like just let that grow out and then have it as like a thinner fringe so that I can style it easier because I feel like it's just not how I want it at the minute. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and sort that out soon. That's what it looks like. I don't really know, because it's not fully styled yet. Let me take my hair down. I think I did a pretty good job, not gonna lie. Oh, good. What the fuck? Why do I look like that? Past me would be fucking quaking. I was saying this to someone recently, like, when I used to think about, like, wanting to sort of be different or, like, just look different to how I used to look when I was younger, I am way beyond what I ever imagined. 14-year-old me would literally shit on the floor if she saw me now. That's not even an exaggeration, though. I'd never even in my life considered like black hair 
And definitely not fringe, like, I, I've not considered any of this until, like, a week before I actually did it all. I'm telling you, a black hair and a fringe, best decision of my life. Best fucking decision of my life. If you are thinking that you've wanted, like, a fringe for ages, or you want to dye your hair a certain colour, do it. I fucking promise you. I'm gonna put a picture of my old self next to me right now. No piercings, no black hair, no fringe, no nothing, versus now. It just makes so much sense. It matches me, it matches my personality, it just... Do it. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Do whatever the fuck makes you happy, no matter how out there it is, no matter how weird everyone else thinks it is, no matter how basic some people might think it is. No matter fucking what, if you want to do it, fucking do it. This, me right now, this is your sign to do the thing that you've been putting off for ages or that you've wanted to do for so long but you're scared that other people are going to judge you. Fuck them. If anyone's going to judge you, fuck them. It doesn't matter. Do what the fuck you want to do. And I'm telling you, if you really, really want to do it and you go in with that confidence and you're like, I'm going to fucking own this, you will fucking own it. It's not about what you do to your appearance or what you wear or what style you've got. It's about you owning it. And it genuinely is like, I know it's cliche, but things are cliche for a reason. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like literally, I'm sorry, but look, look at what I used to look like. Yeah, pretty and all, nice, but just, I was like bread. I was like plain bread. Now, I just am a little bit sexy. It's just about having confidence, man. It's really about having confidence in what you do, in anything that you do, and fucking love yourself. People who see confidence and self-love and immediately call it self-obsession and being stuck up are insecure and can't handle the fact that you know who you are. As long as you're not a cunt and don't think you're actually above anyone else, you're chilling. You, that's, that's just confidence and self-love. So fuck those people, do what you want to do, love yourself, and let the world know that you love yourself. Express it in your energy. Just, just fucking be you, please. This world needs more people who know themselves and can express it. Okay, bitches, sleep well. Well, you might know, but, I mean, you must. Have a good day, night, evening, whatever time of day it is, and I will see you soon.